This video is brought to you in part by Mixkit. Mixkit is an online platform providing free assets for creatives. More about that at the end of the video. Let's hop into this one. You just watch one of your favorite creatives. You get inspired, you grab your camera, your microphone, and go out into the field and capture something that you are so genuinely stoked about. You bring it into the editing suite, put it all together, but when you watch it back, it looks exactly like the person you were influenced by. This is why your video is loaded with the same zoom transitions, sound effects, color grades, presentation, storytelling structure. They all look the same. And if you were to skim online and go through YouTube's catalog of videos from travel films to short documentaries to YouTube tutorials, they all feel the exact same. This is because it is a closed loop of influence, recycling content from one person to the next, so therefore never introducing anything new. Here's how to change that, here's how to fix that, here's how to breathe new oxygen into an old idea. The first thing is bad experiences make good stories. The travel story that you end up telling a group of friends from your experience going to Tokyo isn't about how great the hotel, the hotel was. was, it great, usually has to do with how bad the experience was when you missed your train to get down to Kyoto and how you had to rearrange your entire trip thumbing a lift all the way down to that this destination. This is not a true story whatsoever. The bad stories are the ones that are most exciting. Although for some reason online, we try to pump out the best possible things possible to show how happy we are. But at the end of the day, those things aren't engaging, nor are they true. We pump these out like we eat candies. This is the first step wrong. Find the bad stuff in your footage, the bad things, the errors, the problems, the problems, the part of your story where things went south or sour, and then implement that. Look for the gritty times, the bad times, the things that don't look that great, and put that into your story. And all of a sudden, you're tapping in to a format of authenticity and originality that not a lot of people do. My next thing is a circle of influence. They say that you're the sum of the five people you surround yourself with, and I believe it's the same thing when it comes to the content you consume. If you only watch content from the exact same people, that is the only thing that's going to be influencing you. That can be on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever platform of choice you have, the same stuff will only create the same stuff. So change that circle. Implement new things, new ideas, new creativity. I talk about this nonstop, but truly try implementing this and it is a game changer, which leads me to my third point. Watch movies by Solomon Lighthelm, or Lighthouse, or Lighthelm, Light, Lighthelm, Sherlock Holmes, I don't know. Watch movies by the guy who I have a link to in the description below. He's phenomenal, super duper good, and they're attached to another platform. That'll be my fourth point. Consume content from Vimeo. No, this isn't sponsored by Vimeo. No, do I have any plugs by Vimeo, nor do I really publish anything on Vimeo. But if you want to be inspired by something brand new, check out content from there. My next point is limit yourself to be limitless. You're like, wait a minute, what, Zach, what, huh? Find a tool, a resource, a piece of gear, something that will limit you to one narrow field of creativity and then try and use it as much as possible. What ends up happening is a funnel effect. And for example, let's say shooting an entire short film on your cell phone. That one small window where you feel completely limited, all of a sudden you implement the tool of fixture, which is creativity, and immediately it opens a wide range of different concepts from taping your cell phone to the ceiling to shooting slow motion and treating it like a macro lens, a long lens, shooting at night, trying different things out. And the only reason why I know this is because I've done it. But you don't just have to do that with your cell phone. You can do it with lenses, focal lengths, sound effects, music compositions, platforms. I also started shooting a short film completely in black and white because I thought, well, why not? That's a really fun limit. Limit yourself and you become limitless in exchange because creativity thrives on limitation. The less you have, the more you have to band-aid it with creativity because at the end of the day, creative solutions come from limitations and not having enough. When you have too much stuff, you're not gonna get anywhere with it. Lack of confidence cripples ambition. If you have no confidence in yourself, you're not gonna go anywhere with the limitations. Yes, of course, you can have a cell phone and try and be creative, but if you are not confident in yourself, then you're crippling that creative funnel. And then all of a sudden, it goes from widening out to actually being incredibly narrow. Here's the thing. You need to believe in what you're doing. And at the end of the day, no one believes in what they're doing. From Hollywood actors to Hollywood directors to your biggest favorite creatives, they all don't think that they're enough, even though they have a platform and financial backing that says that they do. You are no different from the person who inspires you. My last and final point is to be inspired by you. You're like, wait a minute, Zach, wait, what? Yeah, I don't fully understand what's going on over here, but you know, I'll just keep watching. Here's how you do it. Here's how you calibrate to be inspired 
inspired by yourself. You are a really inspiring person. When you wake up in the morning and you get up, don't check your phone, don't go on Instagram, don't go on YouTube, don't prime your day by watching the news. Go for a walk and write in your journal right afterwards. And what happens is your brain is starting with this brand new fresh start. The engine is clear of any person, anybody else's gasoline and you can pump it in with your own fuel. And what ends up happening is the emissions that you create are brand new inspiration. It's brand new creativity because no one is implementing or influencing you. And therefore, you don't have to be inspired by other people's creativity. You can be inspired by you. Inspiration and creativity is something that I'm super passionate about and I absolutely love talking about it. Um, this has been a really fun video to make and put together and I could not have created the visual imagery of this video if it wasn't for the company Mixkit. Mixkit is an online platform that, pre that provides free assets to creatives. Um, I don't get how it works. It's witchcraft. I thought when it was being, when it came to making videos and making content, you had to pay for everything, but somehow they've created this magical platform that things kind of come for free. So uh, when I was assembling this video, for example, I used a lot of stock footage was applied throughout it. And for those of you who are wanting to kickstart and boost into doing this creative thing, but for example, are holding yourself back because financially you can't afford the assets and resources that a lot of the big creators can or a lot of other people can with a bit of extra cash in their bank account, try out Mixkit for free. Um, there'll be a link to it in the description below. And that's about it, filmmaking friends and folks. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, I had a ton of fun making it and assembling it all together. Uh, I love doing these types of rap rapid, fast paced videos. If you guys like the look and flavor of it. I have all of the sort of tools and resources that I use to create it in the description below, as well as my online uh, film school, pocket film school, which you guys can look at down there. I talk about how to create storytelling um, through the visual medium by directing, editing, writing, along with a bunch of other incredible creators out there that I had the amazing fortune to collaborate with in the past. Um, so if you guys enjoy that, take a look at it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. And the slider is about to to go behind the fireplace. Here we go. Fire slider. Goodbye. It's going. And it's gone. We're gone now. It's over.